Hello, hello. I'm back. So, welcome to module 9. As you know, this in this module we want to help you become more independent learners. So, what I am going to do today is to share with you three websites that you can use to improve your medical English. I am not going to show you the actual website for copyright reasons. But I'm pretty sure you can do it on your own. We will give you the web page address and then you can do your searches as you wish. The first one I want to talk about is EnglishMed.com. If you go to EnglishMed.com, what you will see, that's what I have here on my screen. They have four sections. They have one section for doctors, one for nurses, one for pharmacists and one that they call general medical stuff. I like this website because it gives you not only practice for listening, but after the videos they give you, they are, they actually are not videos, they are just cartoons. But after the cartoons, they give you exercises, practice on what you just listen to. So if I try one here, visit, I'm just going to click on visit to a surgery. What they give you is you have the cartoon, the conversation between a patient and a doctor. And after that, after you listen to that, you will see a link that says exercises for this dialogue. And then you have, if you click on that, you will have a list of different type of exercises. You have matching here for the vocabulary. You have gap fill, you have document gap filling where you have to complete a paragraph, word or the different type of exercises to just to help you practice your vocabulary and your English in general. So that is WebMed. The second one is uh, hospitalenglish.com I'm going there where is hospitalenglish.com all right this one is my favorite it has one section for teachers and one section for students if you are learning you can just click on the student they have different themes different topics here what I see here is disease state directors, medications, you have flashcards for your vocabulary, you have uh, hospital equipment, patient equipment, I think we did that. So all you have to do is just click on the student link and it will show you the material for the students. So I'm trying to do that now. Okay, what do I, okay, asthma, and I click on students. What do I see? Okay, you ha have a list of vocabulary, some vocabulary exercises, and you have the audio to help you learn the pronunciation of the different words. That's cool. And then you have a text about asthma, and then you have comprehension questions. So, this is the second one that is hospitalenglish.com. And the third one will be um, englishclub.com. So, what I do with englishclub.com is because here also they give you option you have learn and teach as students what you will do is just click on the learn and when you click on learn there you go you have this search tab here click on search yes and you have the search box and you type medical English Medical English. And here we go. You have tens of different topics. So what I can see here, booking appointment, 
me medical specialist and referrals, medical supplies. And what is interesting in this side is that they give you quiz. After you go through the material they offer you, they give you a quiz to test your understanding and even your pronunciation, I think, if I'm not mistaken. They used to, I'm not sure. So let me click on this one. Okay, medical referral. Just the quiz and see. Yeah, this one has just multiple choice. So you have the quiz after going through the material, they offer you the quiz and the possibility to check your answer. They also give you the correct answers at the end. And you can start it again, take the quiz as many times as you want until you're sure you know you master the material you have. You can also, you also have that option with medical English. Or is it hospital English? Yes. With hospital English, you also have the option of taking a quiz and checking your answers. So these are three websites that I think can help you. If you want to see more websites, you can just go to Google and type uh, medical English for ESL student. Medical English for ESL student. If you do that, you will see a lot of links, but here not all of them are free. You'll have to look around, play around a little bit, see what is free and what is not. But these three are absolutely free for students. I cannot show them now for copyright reasons, but you can just access it on your own and uh, try start practicing your English. So this is what I wanted to share regarding the learning websites. It's been good talking to you again. I will see you, I guess, next and last week. Bye-bye.